Over the last several years, we all have heard the rumblings about the vulnerability of our power grids, gas pipelines, and other key infrastructure. Until last February, these stories focused almost entirely on cyber terrorism. As almost 4.5 million people across the South Central United States discovered in February of 2021, that vulnerability extended to natural weather events. In 2021, the state of Texas was hit by three severe consecutive winter storms in February. Over three million homes powerless in Texas. The desperate struggle, families cooking in the freezing cold, some going to dangerous extremes to stay warm. Rolling blackouts with seemingly no end in sight. Road conditions amplified the problem and caused shortages of water and food. These challenges led directly and indirectly to the death of as many as 702 Texans over that span of time. Since the Texas power grid is separated from the two national power grids, there were challenges in importing electricity from other states during this time, leading Texas to realize that their grid is likely underserviced for the growing population and potential weather events like these. How does Bitcoin help this situation? In assessing environmental concerns about Bitcoin mining, or frankly, any other energy use. Not all, all, not all energy consumption is created equal. Would we care, for example, that an activity consumes a lot of energy if 100% of that energy came from renewable sources? Presumably not. So if Bitcoin consumes an energy mix that is roughly twice as sustainable as the US electric grid as a whole, that is a more relevant fact than the mere amount of energy that it uses. And even more important are the incentives that Bitcoin creates to generate more renewable production. The second lens is, we're a market economy in this country, so we should think deeply about the economic productivity created by Bitcoin, or anything else, per unit of energy consumed. Thus, for example, if Bitcoin competes as a store of value with gold, does the energy used in Bitcoin mining produce more economic value per unit of energy than gold mining? Or if Bitcoin competes with traditional finance as a means of payment or as a source of credit, does Bitcoin produce more economic value per unit of energy than financial services? Bitcoin mining is a consistent consumer of electricity wherever miners choose to set up shop. For Texas, that led to a unique opportunity to address the power problem while allowing Texas to take the lead in the crypto mining arena. After the storm in February of 2021, Texas Governor Greg Abbott and other leaders in the Texas government strategized to prevent the same problems in the power grid going forward. Last fall, the governor gathered a group of key cryptocurrency organizations in Austin to discuss a possible solution to the power grid challenges. Crypto mining already has a large presence in the area, so Texas can work together with them to reduce consumption during these events in order to conserve available grid energy for homes and businesses. With ERCOT, the Texas Blockchain Council has pledged to do just that. You know, uh, the storm, winter storm URI in February of 2021 was uh, a, certainly a challenge for the state of Texas and for the residents here. The challenges that caused the grid to go down for so long have been fixed. Uh, we saw this past February in Texas when a winter storm came through, there was 20,000 megawatts of spare capacity on the Texas grid. Uh, part of that was contributed by Texas Bitcoin miners who chose to shut off in order to push their power back into the grid. We had plenty of power to spare. You know, the, the Bitcoin mining community understood that its role in Texas was, um, was forever different after winter storm URI. We are seen as a load balancer, controllable load. We're on the demand response program. Um, you know, many of the miners here are, uh, especially the industrial scale, publicly traded ones. Uh, so they are uh, incentivized to turn off during moments of peak demand or to, to balance uh, you know, the load and then also for frequency stabilization as well. So those kinds of events happen. The power management companies like uh, Priority Power and others are playing a, a great role in managing those power needs and throttling back and uh, also participating in that frequency stabilization as well. At the beginning of February 2022, another winter event hit Texas with snow and unusually cold weather. While this could have been damaging to the power grid as it was the year before, ERCOT and the Texas Blockchain Council were prepared. Demand on the grid was reduced by shutting down the mining operations until the weather passed. 
Notably, one large company in Rockdale reduced their power consumption by 99% in response to the weather event. The Riot One Stone Mining Facility is in Rockdale, and it uses enough energy to power a large city. Cryptocurrency mining is unregulated, so there's no obligation for them to power down in severe weather. But that facility CEO told me they want to be great neighbors. So earlier this week, they spoke with the governor about being proactive. Does that mean that Bitcoin has solved the power problem? Not entirely, but Bitcoin becomes part of the solution in an unconventional way. We will be monitoring the Texas power situation and reporting back on ways the Texas Blockchain Council is helping to stabilize power pricing and availability in the future.